the Huey Cam. Featuring the best of Lamont and Tonelli on 107.7 The Bone. Super producer Sully, who is uh, recovering from his trip to the dentist, high on Vicodin today. Vicodin and Jack Daniels. Absolutely. <laughs> The funny and, thing is you can't tell any difference. And Frank <laughs> Caliendo <laughs> has walked in here, who is playing at Cobbs this week. And uh, tonight, big show. You have a show on Friday. Two shows on Friday? Two shows on Friday, two on Saturday. One of the shows is sold out. I'm not sure which one. There you go. So CobbsComedy.com uh, or FrankCaliendo.com if you want tickets. I suggest hopping all over yes, it today. absolutely. Get mm-hmm. on absolutely. that early. I mean, I think uh, if you don't do that right away, you're mm. going to end up like Sully. You're just lost <laughs> somewhere trying to figure out where you are, what you should do, and, and how you got there, and why you were there in the first place. Hey, that's happened to me, my friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> once, you, once you get going, it's hard to find your way back. You're right. <laughs> It's not like Hansel and Greta. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. it, it's um, muy diferente. <laughs> Which in Espanol is different. <laughs> wow, Sully is what? He usually laughs a lot. Now it's like he's euphoric. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, Frank, let me ask you, how many different voices do you actually... Six. Six different Six voices. Six different, that's it. <laughs> Six of them. You know, they Wow, what a repertoire. I know, yeah. I, well, usually I show people the good ones. You know, uh-huh. that's kind of what... The thing is, there's probably tons of bad ones that I do. You know, that's what I hate about bad impressionists, is you listen to them and you're like, oh my goodness, that was terrible. That, oh, the, your top four are great. Kind of watch Rich Little and it's like that. His, and then he's yeah. doing like uh, Lyndon Johnson. Like, <laughs> Who knows? I'm, honestly, if you guys uh, ever want to have a fun day, and I respect Rich Little for being the greatest probably known and precious of all right, time and right. his yeah. time way ahead of his time an amazing impression sure. but look at his website you'll laugh you'll be like there are actually people like Lyndon Johnson <laughs> stars from the 40s and 50s and 20s and you'll be like Who's uh, uh, Jack, <laughs> Jack Nate? Who's that? <laughs> what? Is that my neighbor? Hi, I'm Jack Nate. <laughs> and then every single one that he does, it's so funny because he's like, uh, this is Michael Caine. And everyone he t- announces who he is. <laughs> he's like, well, this is Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jimmy Carter. And I want to say I have nothing to say. <laughs> I'm Bill Clinton, and I say nothing. <laughs> you know, it's so funny because you did it. You know, that was the thing. I always thought Rich Little was really great at the voices, and he didn't have the ton of material. So it yeah. was like. Uh, there were more like jokey jokes kind of forced in there. Yeah. And when I actually saw him on Letterman, I thought he was a lot better because he did the Impressionist Week that uh, I was a part of. Here's yeah. a guy who's bragging about being in the same category as Rich Little. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Fred Travelina was in that oh. too. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've got a great uh, Travelina story well, I for wanna, you. I want to hear it. Yeah. Uh, uh, but but uh, Rich Little, did he did more of a conceptual thing in setting him up and... And uh, and that that's why I think it, that's what makes me different than most of the impressions because most of the times you hear these guys who do these impressions you're like, oh man, uh, that that could be great. Too bad you're using it for uh, Jack Nicholson working at McDonald's. <laughs> 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 you ever hear Rich Rich? Uh, n- not Rich. I was uh, Dennis Miller. Rich is his brother. Boom. Uh, <laughs> Dennis Miller. Uh, it really is too. Dennis Miller did that joke about uh, you know I hate when impressionists do. Uh, Jack Nicholson working at McDonald's. Yeah, the highest paid actor of all time <laughs> is uh, is going to be uh, working. working as a fry cook. Yeah. Like, How about this, Cha Cha? How about you working at McDonald's? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's where you're going with that material. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Miller imitation. <laughs> yeah, mine's not that strong, but I could do a better Adam Sandler and a Chris Farley. <laughs> Chris. Same time frame. <laughs> or was somebody going to ask something? I forgot. Because here's a guy who went off on a tangent. I love the tangent. And I like Melon Sully. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you how do you develop new voices? Though? I mean, I mean, do you sit at home and just kind of say who's in the news, who's doing yeah, what? Yeah, I mean, little bits on the Fox pregame show. I had to come up with like Rush Limbaugh mm-hmm. if, a couple years ago, and it was like, "Greetings, my friends." When I say my friends, I mean you guys. My oxy cotton pills. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even go after us with that. He was like, "It's funny. It works. 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 <laughs> Give me a mint." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, but yeah, little bits of that kind of stuff. Mainly, I write new bits for the voices I already do. You know, mm-hmm. you can go on forever with the John Man as long as you're doing something different and something yeah. out of the blue, like video games. I wish he did uh, instead of just a football game. Why can't he do play-by-play of Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mario just ate a mushroom. He's doubled his original size. I mean, <laughs> he's gonna go beat up a Koopa Trooper. I'd hate to be a Koopa Trooper right now. Heck. I'd hate to be a Koopa Trooper any time. They're all green and slimy. And Mario just got to the end of the level. You know, I can tell. Boom. He he just hit his little Nintendo groin on a flagpole. (laughs) My princess is in another castle? You son of a gun. (laughs) Or uh, 
uh, Grand Theft Madden, you know. Boom, you just shot a hooker. <laughs> 500 points. That's dollars in American uh, cash. Oh. <laughs> you know, you're giving him a million dollar yeah, idea right, right now. You're just giving oh, away a million dollar idea. Opening up a whole deal. He'll get away from the Ace Hardware commercials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ace is, yeah, I almost said something terrible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We've learned in the last few weeks you got to be careful of fight <laughs> <laughs> with what you're saying. Yeah, oh boy, do we ever. <laughs> Lamont and Tonelli, weekday mornings, 5 to 10 on 107. 7-7. The Bone.